Hey folks, Alan Amandic, the Hot Rod Hippie here, coming to you from West New York, New Jersey. This is New, New Jersey here, that's New York over there. We're gonna be checking out the Memorial High School STEAM Open House. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Mathematics. It is a hands-on, real-world application process where students can learn to apply the skills they're picking up in classes. This is modern day shop class, folks. It's really interesting, woodworking, metalworking, automotive, 3D printing, robotics. There's a lot of beautiful, wonderful stuff in this program. I think it's really interesting. Let's go ahead and check it out. I wanted to start talking, but I gotta get away from the copyrighted material. Let's move. I'm actually coming to you from Manhattan now. I've been through the show. I checked out the Steam open house. It's excellent. Now I'm just walking around here, grabbing a bite to eat. I'm gonna talk to you folks about the STEAM program at Memorial High School. This program is hands down one of the best shop programs I've seen. They never got rid of their industrial arts program at this school, and it really shows. They've got all the classic equipment that they've had for years, for generations, and they've held on to that, but they've expanded as well. This is just an excellent way to help students learn. Students aren't confined to just using the things that the teachers are showing them in class. They actually have the option of hands-on applying the mathematics, the, the science, the anatomy class lessons. I mean, they're 3D printing artificial limbs in these classes to show you how joints work. That is an excellent way to, for somebody who doesn't learn just by reading, by taking a test, but needs hands-on demonstration Excellent, excellent program going on there. In terms of the modern world, there's still an excellent program here with the robotics they're bringing into things, aquaponics, hydroponics, growing things while still having fish in there. Yes, we are in New York City, I can hear that. They're using 3D printing in these classes to go ahead and construct things and just to teach the students about the design process, seeing the finished product, and a very useful technique that is becoming all over the industry, very highly used. Now, even if none of these students move on to be welders and fabricators, they've got a basis in techniques and building things and repairing things that a lot of people of this generation just don't have access to. And that is really going to be a useful skill set for them. You know, when I was in high school, I had a standing hall pass to the metalworking shop. My teacher gave me a hall pass that was indefinitely good. So anytime I had free class, you know, study hall, something like that, I could go to the metalworking shop, the woodworking shop, and just work because I loved applying myself. I loved working with my hands and doing that. And that's what really introduced me into the world that I live in and work in now. Fabrication world, the auto restoration world, that's what got me started. Programs like this, they're just not out there anymore. They're not like this anymore. And I really was really happy to see that. The students were excited about the projects they were working on. It was a really interesting dynamic to be involved in. Now I came to this event thanks to Ron Grossinger. Mr. G is a friend of mine from Instagram. He was inviting me down to this event. I definitely wanted to check it out. I wanted to see what he was doing here anyway. So it was really, really a great event for that reason. He teaches automotive as well as metalworking. He has used some of my techniques that I teach in videos and found them to be useful for the students. I just wanted to highlight this school, show what it is they're doing. This open house was excellent. It was great to meet the folks that were there, check out the program, meet Ron for the first time ever because I've only ever met him online. But the whole program was just something I think other schools could really, really market their programs after. Something they should consider taking a look at, what the folks are doing in Memorial High School in West New York, New Jersey. Now let's hear from Ron, the teacher himself, what he thinks of the program and the application of it. I'm so glad this worked out. We had an industry day here. This is the shop, and not clearly. We had the wood shop, and the you know steam is science, technology, engineering, math. But the main thing is that it's the application of all the theoretical topics in co in high school. And so for me, this is like a really a personal uh, long-term goal to expand these areas because when I was a kid, they you know wanted to burn me at the stake for not memorizing something. You know, I mean. Why should I memorize something that I'm not interested in? And then someone could argue, well, oh, you have to learn the fundamentals. But here's the thing, you can't read about building muscle. You actually have to lift up something or you have to put it in practice. So that's why I call this the application area. 
Uh, it used to be called industrial arts, now it's called STEAM, but you could call it application, and that's really where it is. And the best part about it is that it's a chance for failure. Why is that good? Failure shows that you're an individual. You're making a mistake that's unique to you. And so you can learn from those mistakes and you can learn about the tools. Maybe it's the, the way you're using the tool. Maybe it's the way you applied it. Maybe it's the time, heat, temperature, all that stuff. And what areas like shop class do is it lets kids be themselves and it rewards them through trial and error. And so I'm really grateful that this program got expanded. You know, when I first got here, this was like a parking lot for teachers and it was a kind of a diminishing program and a lot of schools got rid of it. So we're lucky we still have the old equipment, part of the industrial arts, and then it became STEAM. And you know, I think if there's a teacher watching this, what I would say is if you want to expand, you need to make it relevant to people that don't always do this stuff because why should someone else care that you are using your hands to build something? Why should they care? You, in, and you don't have to make them care. You have to think entrepreneurial. You have to think, well, they'll be attracted to it. So when the gas prices were $4 a gallon, we did an electric car. Well, that made it relevant to people that don't build cars. Uh, not everybody could get a chance to do that. We did it through a grant, but the same thing applies. Can you make something, can you make it exciting for people that maybe aren't gonna do this? So that's basically it. I'm Mr. G, you know. We're in West New York, New Jersey, and it's Memorial High School, and this is our STEAM workshop. And also, I wanna thank Alan for coming down and, and showing the place and visiting, and I love all the work he's doing, so uh, I was lucky that he came all the way down here. We had a whole bunch of teachers and professionals from all over, it was very cool. Thank you so much to Ron for having me here today, to Memorial High School for being so friendly and welcoming, to all the students and everybody I met and talked to. This was an excellent, excellent event. It was really a great eye-opening experience. I haven't been in a shop like that in like 15 years now, so it was really great to see what it is like today. All right, folks, go ahead and drop the video a like if you found it interesting. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the STEAM program, the school, the shop. Let me know what you're thinking. I can't stop raving about it. I hope you found it interesting. Go ahead and check out the Patreon account, patreon.com slash hotrodhippie to directly support this channel. Subscribe to keep up to date with all the new content every week. Thanks for coming around, folks. I'm gonna go snap some photographs. Have a good one.